Hello everyone, welcome to another educational video from Confines Global here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Today we are going through this important topic, what is the best method to implement your audio ERP system? Before I start, I want to thank you everyone, whether you are watching this on Facebook or LinkedIn or Twitter or any of the different channels or YouTube for that matter. I really appreciate the fact that you guys actually reached out to me from across the globe appreciating what I'm doing as well as asking me all the questions on how I can help you know like things like that even asking me like questions you know like how this can be done I've tried to reply to everyone you know like if I haven't please send one more email because I might have you know missed it because of all the clutter on my inbox but once again thank you for all the support so now going back to the topic Let's say like you're working with this customer and you have everything ready, you know, like you have the entire gap analysis document, you have the entire requirements completely, you know, like documented, then what I would suggest as the best way possible is create three containers, okay? When I say three containers, name the first container like a default Odoo. Name the second container like modules that you, you're going to buy. Now, name the last container like, okay, what are the things that I'm going to customize? So let's say like you, are a, you have a list of items. You actually look at one by one and understand like which of these containers I'm going to put it. Customer need X, Y, Z, A, this is by default available on the vanilla version of Odoo. Yeah, you put it on the first container. Now, the customer needs another feature, which you know that does not belong to the first container because it needs some customization. So, but you found out like, hey, somebody already built this module or put it in the second category. Now, there are businesses, when you work with them, you understand like they have like specific processes that doesn't exist or that is not a common thing utilized by anybody else. And you cannot actually, you know, have it work right out of the box from Odoo and nobody has built a module for that. So something like you're looking at something like uh, intellectual property, right? That is specific process for that business. You put those in the last container. So once you categorize your entire requirements into, you know, like these three containers or categories, then you can present it to the customer like, hey, all these things, it's bringing value because you're having Odoo take care of right out of the box. So when you present this to the end customer, you're showing him all the value Odoo is bringing from all those tasks that you put on the container one or the category one, where right out of the box, Odoo is solving all these problems for you. Now, you look at the category two or the container two and tell them like, hey, these are the modules, five or six modules that we are buying from the Odoo store or you buy directly from some other partner where you are not reinventing the wheel, you're adopting the best practices or the best model they have built, you're reusing that. The last one is the actual customization where you as an Odoo partner is going to charge them. So when you combine all these things, you have an excellent package that you can show to the end customer. And if you want to make it really, you know, like cool, you know, show them like what will be their yearly cost is or your five year cost is and compare that versus the bigger SAPs or you know, Microsoft Dynamics and all those things and show them like how much value you are getting by adopting Odoo. As a partner, this will give, you know, take you the long mile and help you to build the trust and show the customer like the overall value that Odoo is bringing onto the table. I really hope these videos are valuable. Please like and share if you're watching this on social media. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please click on the subscribe button so you do not miss another video from us. Thank you and God bless you all.